Alright YouTube, this is going to be a how-to video on how to change the membrane in your RODI unit. Mine is the 5 stage bulk reef supply RODI unit, um, the 75 gallon per day. And I'll go ahead and show you what I'm going to do to change it. Okay, so now we're going to individually take out each one of these stages and loosen it up and drain the water out of it so I don't have any water spilling all over me anywhere. Um, I went ahead and loosened these, so I'm just going to show you now what I'm going to do. I'm just going to twist it off because there is water still in it. Luckily I'm over a sink and I'm going to go, go ahead and just pour it in my sink. And this is the sediment filter, very first stage. I'm going to set that aside down here. Go ahead and do the next one. Out as well. I believe this is one of the carbon stages. And down here, I'm also placing them in order the way they go up above. It says right here, sediment filter, 5 micron, and then uh, 0.6 micron plus carbon block. And I'm setting them down below, down here in my sump area, so it'll allow me to remember which, way, like, which one was which when I took them out. So let's go ahead and get this last one out. If you guys aren't over a sink, I would recommend putting a towel down or anything else you've got that you would uh, use to hold or collect water. Okay, got that one emptied. I'm going to set it down here. Okay, so after I went ahead and disconnected all the other lines, all the membranes or the filters, I went ahead and pulled this off by disconnecting the black line to the uh, flush kit and the main end line to the membrane. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the removal of this. Alright, so here's my recommendations. You get a pair of channel locks for this big, big bad boy to get it off here or you have somebody else help you hold this sucker because this thing is no joke on there as tight as it can be and there's a reason for that it's also got seals on here and right here um, but let's see if you can see this there we go these sediment let's see if you can see a difference here the color difference that's obviously not good but I mean I'm sure it could go a little bit longer this is the new one old one obviously um, so let's go ahead and slide this sucker out. Alright, so after pulling this out, obviously it's going to be super difficult because this ring right here on these is also a seal and so is the uh, back end of this thing. So um, what you're looking at here is you can actually smell this thing a little bit. It's It smells like uh, rotten stuff that's coming out of your tank or something like that obviously but it's coming out of my uh, house so um, it's a little springy like you can actually feel the difference like this one's a little bit more springy than the other one um, but I had to put where's it at something like this which I just had some wire laying around and I put two hooks on it and actually had to hook it into these little holes on the top of this so I could actually grab it and pull this thing out. So now I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing out because it doesn't look very good and I'll get back to you. Alright so I rinsed this out got it pretty well cleaned out I mean it, that's kinda like stains on the white now so not a lot I can do with that but uh, I went ahead and rinsed it out and now I'm going to go ahead and put the new membrane in same way I took it out this side down to the bottom there's actually a little hole down there Let's see if you can see it. 
to where you can this connects right back into. So I'm just gonna slide it down in there, push it in, and make sure it goes all the way down. You kind of feel it snap in a little bit. It's not like a snap, but it's kind of like a a ribbed thing that you catch it drop into. And that's that part of it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the head of this. Just make sure there's nothing on that rubber seal. Then we're gonna go ahead and thread this thing back on. And make sure it's just as tight as it was when I took it off. It should look like this, where it's touching. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and put this thing back in. Right here is the red line, which is the weight the new water coming in from your house. We're gonna connect the black line right here, which is the flush kit or black water, like the out water, wastewater line. And right here is your blue water line going in or going out. So it's your good water coming out of here. So we're gonna go ahead and connect that back up here. And when you, whenever you guys want to put these things back together, you want to make sure you feel that click and that push all the way back so you can actually know that it's got a connection again. Because these are the push lock ones. Make sure all your connections are good. You never know if something slipped around. And that's how you install the RODI membrane. All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and get these filters back in, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to like if you liked it. If not, dislike it. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you.